Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, what you see in front of you is my rainwater harvesting system. Uh, this video will be step one in building your own uh, IBC tote rainwater harvesting system. The very first step is acquiring your own tank or, or IBC tote. And uh, what I did was I got on Craigslist and there was probably 10 or 15 people selling them anywhere from 70 to $125. Um, some were even $40, but those had chemicals in them. You'll want to be sure to uh, get a tote with, that was a food grade tote that either had like a soap or an, um, a cooking oil in it. And uh, once, you're, once you get your tank, there's, uh, there's two bars that run along the top of the tank. You'll need to remove these in order to get the tank out of the cage that it's in. Uh, to do this, you'll need a Torx screwdriver. And what it looks like is a six-point star. Uh, there's four bolts holding your tank in. Uh, so first step is remove these. After you remove the two bars from the cage, you will flip the cage over. There is a plastic arch that the metal bar runs through. Use these to help you pull the tank out. Once the tank is removed, you may want to cut these arches off. After wrapping the tank in plastic, you will only have two options. Your first option will be to cut the plastic and slide the metal bar back through the plastic arch or to not put the metal bars back on at all. So if you would like the metal bars to go back on, now is the time to cut these plastic arches off. I used a wood chisel and a four pound hammer and just hit the wood chisel against that plastic arch and it cut it right off. But you could also use a uh, hacksaw. Now that your tank is out of the cage, you're ready to clean your tank. You'll need Dawn soap and a water hose or a power washer. I didn't have a power washer, so I used uh, soap and, the, and a water hose. I added about 20 gallons of water to each tank and then tumbled the tank end over end through the yard until like, I, I felt like they were clean enough. I did this a few times and I rinsed it very well. You're not going to want any soap in your water, especially if you'll be using this for your garden or for drinking water. Now that your tank is clean, it's time to wrap the tank in black plastic. You're wrapping the tank in black plastic to prevent sunlight from entering. If sunlight enters the tank, it'll grow algae, and then you'll have algae all in your water, and your water won't be any good. You'll need a few things for this step. You'll need a tape measure, a duct tape, a box blade, a piece of cardboard, and your black plastic. The black plastic I'm using is six millimeters thick. It's made by Blue Hawk. Uh, it's 10 foot wide and 100 foot long. This roll of black plastic will uh, wrap six, to six tanks total. Take your roll of plastic and roll it out on a flat surface. You'll be measuring this out to 14 feet, so make sure you have enough room. Once you get your plastic rolled out, you'll want to place the cardboard uh, at the 14 foot mark, you're going to make a, uh, underneath the plastic, you'll be making a cut at the 14 foot mark. Um, and that cardboard's going to be there in case you have it on uh, dirt or concrete. You don't want your uh, box blade digging in the concrete or dirt. Once you cut the plastic, you'll need to unfold it and carry your tank to the center of the sheet. Here you'll be placing the top of your tank on the ground. Uh, but before you do so, you'll need to remove your lid. We're removing the lid because we're going to cut the hole for the lid later and uh, this is going to be much easier removing it now. So your tank should be upside down and in the center of your plastic sheet. Now basically all we're going to do is wrap this thing like a huge present. You'll only be making one cut. Uh, this cut will be where your valve is. Uh, you'll need to make a small cut to allow the valve um, to fit through the plastic. You'll notice on your plastic and on the tank there's a noticeable seam line. Uh, that match up very well. Uh, that seam line is actually um, directly in the middle. So if you line up that seam line on your plastic and on your tank, this will make it much easier for you. When wrapping your tank, it doesn't have to be uh, pretty. I'm a horrible gift wrapper and I'm not so good at wrapping tanks either. Um, but if you just make sure you do two things, one, make sure you block all the sunlight, and two, make sure you tape all your seams up. If you tape them well where no water can enter, Everything should hold pretty well, no matter what it looks like. Once you put it back in the cage, you won't be able to tell. Now that your tank is wrapped, what you'll need to do is put it back in the cage. Uh, you'll do so 
um, like you took the um, tank out of the cage, slide the tank in the cage a little bit, and then push both of them upright. And you may need to um, give the tank a little pull, a little push maybe to um, push it back down in the cage, but it should slide down uh, relatively easily. Once you have your tank back in the cage, uh, now's the time that we're going to uh, cut the hole for your lid. You'll be making a plus pattern cut. I start from the inside of the lid and then I'll stretch the plastic o over the lid and just cut as needed to make it fit tight over the lid. Thanks for watching and there'll be more videos to come.